Get ready for me to show you some advanced editing workflows in Camtasia 2021. Hey everyone, my name is Jewel Tolentino from Esatino Media, showing you how to create profitable content. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you my advanced editing techniques. I'm gonna show you what it looked like before as raw, unedited footage, and then what it looks like after when it's all polished and edited up. The choices I make when I'm editing, my workflow, the sounds I use. So let's get started. So let me show you the raw footage. And this is completely raw, like completely unedited raw. So this is a two minute clip of my business partner, Arit, and she was recording a video. This is only a portion of the video. It's not the entire thing. So it's a two minute clip. I'm gonna play it for you guys and then I'm gonna play the edited version and then we'll go through how I got to the final edited version. So I'm gonna play the raw edit now. If you're busy all day but not tr If you're busy all day, but feel like you're not really moving things forward, or maybe you're trying to balance working on the business versus in the business, like every entrepreneur ever, then this video is for you. Hello, it's Arit here from Esatino Media, helping you create profitable content. And in this case, in this particular video, helping you create a system that brings more profits into your business. This video is going to share an activity that I learned from This video is gonna share an activity with you that's really gonna help you get more productive in your business. And it's going to help you see what tasks you're working on that actually produce the income in your business, actually produce real results, so that you know how to prioritize your tasks throughout the day. This is a method that I learned from business coach and performance coach, Todd Herman, who coaches like, for who coaches Fortune 500 CEOs and Olympic athletes with these types of techniques. So let's get into it. All right, so that was the raw, unedited footage. I did not do anything on that footage. Completely raw, straight off the SD card. Now, let's play the polished version of that two minute clip. If you're busy all day, but feel like you're not really moving things forward, or maybe you're trying to balance working on the business versus in the business, like every entrepreneur ever, then this video is for you. Hello, it's Arit here from Esatino Media, helping you create profitable content. And in this case, in this particular video, helping you create a system that brings more profits into your business. This video is gonna share an activity with you that's really gonna help you get more productive in your business. And it's going to help you see what tasks you're working on that actually produce the income in your business, actually produce real results, so that you know how to prioritize your tasks throughout the day. This is a method that I learned from business coach and performance coach, Todd Herman, who coaches Fortune 500 CEOs and Olympic athletes with these types of techniques. So let's get into it. All right, so that was the final edited version. What do you think? Way better, right? And so here on the actual timeline is the final version edit. And you can see where I chopped everything, where I added stuff. And if I drag this down right here, this is the unedited version. As you can see, huge gaps of dead air, right? So. First thing is even before you start editing is the way that you film. So we like to film in a jump cut 
filming style, which is also jump cut editing, wherein that you see there's a bunch of audio, then a pause, then a bunch of audio, then pause. So we're basically saying certain lines, like it's usually one to two sentences, maybe three sentences if we can really get the flow going. And then you pause. Why do you pause? Well, it gives it this jump cut effect where, in my opinion, you get really strong concentrate information in a video. And you'd be surprised when you take all that stuff out how concentrate you can actually get your video. And I like the style. I feel it's very engaging. It keeps people entertained, in my opinion. So before we even start editing, we film in this style. I know it's weird when you're actually doing it because you'll be saying a line, right? You'll be saying a line. Busy all day, but not tr See, she made a mistake, so she's pausing. You'll say a line and then let's just get to the end of it. She'll say a line. Entrepreneur ever. Then this video is for you. And then she'll pause, right? So you say a line and then you pause. It's weird, but it actually makes for a great YouTube video. Now you can have a script if you want. We have done this enough times where for me in particular, I just have bullet points. So I'll have a video and it'll have three to five bullet points usually. I'm not usually going past five bullet points and I'll just riff off of each bullet point. So I'll say my intro, say what the video is about, and then start going through each bullet point, which is one to three sentences each. And I do that until I get to the end of the video. And then that's a recorded video. Then once I import it into Camtasia, one of the first things that I do is because there is all this dead air and space, it's pretty easy for me to go through and edit because I know that here I can visually see there's nothing happening here so I can go and chop all this out. I can also see when there's a mistake that happens, you can kind of see the audio looks similar. So you can see that this part looks similar to this part, which means she started to say this line, made a mistake, and then started to say it again. And this takes practice over time. You'll start to see the patterns in the audio and you'll start to recognize them. You might not initially and that's okay. You just have to play the audio to get a feel for it. So if I hover over this video, you see that it's uh, 15 minutes actually for the actual raw footage. I'll probably get that down to below 10 minutes, maybe between eight to 10 minutes. So I can shave off about five minutes or so or more. I like to play a game with myself when I'm editing and I see the initial duration of a video and I try to get it as short as possible. And I'll even remove lines that I feel are not necessary. They might have been a good take, but is not necessary in the video because at the end of the day, I'm just trying to give people the concentrate, the best of the best for the video. Now, a couple of things before you actually start clipping your video, the raw edited footage is what I like to do is I like to add the noise removal. So I'll add noise removal first, and then I will do some color correction. So I do this before I start chopping up everything. I'll add the color LUT and the color adjustment. So I'll drag it on here and I'll play around with this, bring it down a bit. Then I'll add some color adjustment. It's gonna make it black and white, but we just want to play around with this. and it just requires some tweaking. I have certain specifications that I like for my videos. I usually like to have my colors be vibrant, the blacks be black, you know, because if I turn this off, look what happens when I turn off the color adjustment and then I turn off the color let. You realize that your raw footage was completely gray and not full of life. And then you turn on the color let and you turn on the color adjustment and then boom, you have color again. So that's what I do before I start chopping everything up. 
All right, once I've chopped everything up and I have everything in pieces, I'll go through the entire video before I start adding what I call the bells and whistles. So I chop it up, remove all of the dead air before I start adding sounds, texts, zoom-ins, pictures, all that stuff. I like to do things in sections, in batches, because if I'm going through and I'm editing this, and then I clip it, and then I'm like, oh, let me go and add an, a, you know, a text here. To me, that takes longer to switch out, so I do things in batch processes. So I'm going to edit out all the dead air first, then I'm going to go back to the beginning, and then I'm going to start adding on my bells and whistles. So let's go through this in order. So you can see that the audio and the color correction are already done, so I don't need to do that. And also, I like to do it first because I don't want to forget that stuff. That stuff is things I don't want to forget, so I do it at the very beginning. As you can see, I've got a long arrow here. This is the zoom in arrow. And usually for the first video clip on the screen, I like to do a zoom in because it's kind of like leading in. And then I go into transition, right? So I'll just play it. If you're busy all day, but feel like you're not really moving things forward, or maybe you're trying to balance working on the business versus in the business, like every entrepreneur ever, then this video is for you. Hello, it's Arit. So that's Arit doing like a hook, like a video hook to get people engaged. And then we have a transition here. I play around with transitions depending on what type of clips I'm using. I really like using the whip transition. So if you go into the transitions and there's a lot of them, I don't use like 95% of them. I have gone through, picked and choose which ones I think in my opinion look cool <laughs> without looking cheesy because there's a fine line that you can walk with being cool and cheesy. So the whip spin here. This is the one that I like to use paired up with an audio. So if you didn't have this audio, you it would look cool, but both visual and audio together make it look even better. So let's let's remove this sound and then play it with the transition. Entrepreneur ever. Then this video is for you. Hello, it's a re right. It happened. It was visually cool, but you didn't really feel it, right? The thing with these videos is you want to make people feel something. So I want them to get excited. Now I can't place this properly on here. I want people to get excited for what's about to happen. So I'm putting this transition with this sound. I'll play it again. And this video is for you. Hello, it's a read here. So you like it feels and sound cool in my opinion. Next. Arit is going to introduce herself, so I'll just play that part. Arit here from Esatino Media, helping you create profitable content. And in this, so we recently rebranded, and we are now called Esatino Media, and our tagline is, uh, you know, showing you how to create profitable content. We've gotten very clear on what we do and what we do best for our clients is that we make them look good and we make them be profitable with their content that they put out. So I have this thing called, it's called a lower thirds, which it's basically your name that pops up on the screen. And I grabbed this from the Camtasia 2021 libraries. So if you go to library and you go to Camtasia 2021 and you go to lower thirds, they have all these things here. It's, it's basically a place to put your name. A lower third is basically an animated name tag. And I chose one that looked cool. I liked this one because it has an angle, looked kind of modern, and I branded it to our colors. And I put sounds to it, again with the sounds, so I'll play it again. Here from Esatino Media, helping you create profit. It's slight and subtle. See, sometimes you might not even notice it, but if you took it away, you would really notice it. And there's another one here. It swoops. Uh, it's a fast uh, swoop, so I'll play it. I was going to share an activity with you. That so there's another one there when it removes. I don't use the long swoosh 
because the long swoosh goes with this kind of a transition, whereas this is like a, a fast thing happening. So you do want to match your audio correctly. I do see people using audio incorrectly where they're, they think that they've got a cool sound, but it doesn't actually go with whatever they're putting it on. So make sure that you are matching it. And you'll see here that I've got another long arrow going on, which is a zoom effect. So I'm zooming in again because there is a longer duration of her talking, but I don't have any images come up. For this particular segment, there was no images to come up. And then I do another sound and then it goes into a talking thing again and then an image. So we'll play this again. That's really gonna help you get more productive in your business. And it's going to help you see what tasks you're working on that actually produce the income in your business, actually produce real results so that you know how to prioritize your tasks throughout the day. This is a So I wanted people to pay attention and get interested in what she's saying. So I'm doing like a slow zoom in. If this arrow was shorter, it would be a very fast zoom in. But I really like the slow zoom in effect. Again, it's these small details that make the video. And at the end of the zoom, it goes back to the regular frame. And so that's why I did this sound bite here to, to show that the transition of changing from the zoom in back to the normal framing of the video. Next, she's gonna mention this author here, Todd Herman. And so I wanted an image of him and his latest book to pop up on the screen. I also know that his book cover was yellow and I, I know that that would be very vibrant and very visually appealing for the people to see that on the screen. So I'll play this part here coach and performance coach Todd Herman, who coaches Fortune 500 CEOs and Olympic athletes with these types of techniques. So let's get into it. Okay, so again, I added the whip transition because I thought with this color of his book, it would be cool to have it whip as a visual effect. And then I added this, the long swoosh because it's the whip transition. I feel it goes best with that sound and that movement. And I have this come up on the screen of Todd Herman's book, The Alter Ego Effect. And then it's on there for, I think, let's see, five seconds. And then you'll see I specifically stop it because Arit is going to be ending this segment. And so I specifically stopped it so that she could say this ending line on screen. So I'll play it and Olympic athletes with these types of techniques. So let's get into it. She's saying, let's get into it. So I want her to be on screen when she says that and not have the alter ego Todd Herman on there while she says it. I think it would be, it's more powerful for the, the viewer to see her on the screen as she's saying those particular lines. This was an overview of that two minute clip. Like I said, this video was originally fifth, almost 16 minutes, but I'm just showing you the first two minutes. And so as you can see, if I showed you the entire video, there would be like lots of stuff happening in here. So this is why this is the advanced video workflow. So that's my workflow for an advanced edit. If you guys liked this video, I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course that will fast track your Camtasia learning. You guys should take the course, it's full of value, and you'll be able to edit videos like this. Hit the thumbs up button if you found this entertaining, and I'll see you in the next video.